I think everybody's here, so this should be interesting. Oh, he definitely got his team up. Jeez. Everybody got their team up this week. It still might be an hour, though. I'll be surprised if we cut it down. I finally finished my archer gears, so... Celine has her gears up to date. So hopefully... We can stay in the top three? <laughs> Maybe? Nah, probably not. Takes time for my team to build up damage. Now let's see what everybody's using this week. If I can find my cursor, cheese. Alright, same team. Yeah, somewhat of a new team, I'm pretty sure. Maybe he's still old. Pretty sure this is a different team. Pretty sure she changed. Yeah, she definitely changed. He or she. Definitely changed their team. I'm pretty sure they had a... Uh, Sai in their team? But we definitely have more heavy hitters this week, which is nice. Seems like everybody's switching back to Celine. Which is a smart choice. <laughs> ah, dead mouse is streaming. Okay, that's loud. Please stop. Round 3 destroyed, basically. I started catching up, too. My damage is getting there. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, at least I know I'll catch up on, like, the... Uh, more HP bosses. Is I think is going um, magic team. But not all the main magic team characters are out yet. I know. Wait, what? Oh no, you're going magic team. Who does? Cherry is going with just a pretty much overall normal team. I'm getting everything ready to get um, Aaron to ultimate as well as soon as that starts. Not sure about other characters yet. Maybe I'll look at Shin and see what she gets at ultimate. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Even though, actually, nah, there wouldn't be a point because I'm going to be replacing her real soon. But it won't hurt to just look. Yeah, most of her stuff. Yeah, most of her stuff is aimed towards magic, increasing magic damage. I think I'm good. 
Especially since I'm more of aiming around a physical team. But Chen is definitely really good with magic teams. Okay, go back. Jesus. Yo, Def, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I am doing average because I am currently going through heartburn. Teaches me to drink freaking fruit punch before stream. I literally think it's fruit punch or either it's water. That's literally giving me hard work. <laughs> One of the two. Yes, I am too. So once I'm done with stream, I'm going to collapse in my bed and go back to sleep. I need to fix my sleeping schedule. That's all I need to do. It's like a, like a, I don't even remember what brand it was, but it was, it was pretty much like, let's just say Fruit Punch, let's just say it out. I, I can't remember what brand it was. I was just waiting for my TV to be hanged up on the wall so I can lay down and watch stuff and actually be motivated to watch anime. <laughs> I can't sit in my chair all day and watch anime. I need to lay down and watch it. So I'm behind on a lot of things. I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. We will have to see because I'm supposed to be Helping the family do some things. I at least wanted to get this stream out of the way. I'm catching up to everybody. I'm catching up to you, Ive. Yeah, my team definitely does a lot better inside of like longer bosses which is going to be fantastic towards uh, round nine you've never gotten heartburn i'm pretty sure you probably have you just don't know how it feels Cause that's how most people are. They don't really know what heartburn is. They feel like it's directly in your heart. It's not like that. Kind of around like your chest area. Not directly in your heart, anything like that. We'll be playing some uh, Knights Chronicle after this. Because there are, are a few things I have to farm. I haven't even done the hospital dungeon in a day. I mean, if you have it, never say never. <laughs> you could get it.
Alright, there we go. Yeah, true. Everybody else has high pain resist, and I have high sickness resist. I rarely ever get sick at all. Well, like I said, if I do, it's pretty much like a good three-day sickness. No, Alchemist Code, I don't want to play you right now. There's nothing for me to grind. I finished everything. Now that Selene's gear is done, I'm finally dealing some damage. Still trying to figure out if I should max Momo. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like I should. Compared to everybody else, they're kind of following what I did and stop working on him. I mean, Momo's just one of those, like, good buffers that you don't feel like you need to put all your resources into. <laughs> Basically. Feels terrible, too. It's actually good to have all our top hit hitters here. woke up so I'm kind of out of it right now when I woke up I was actually thinking do I actually want to wake up and do this and I thought about it it's guild adventure I might as well almost went back to sleep thank god I didn't you just stay motivated Kind of sad that Sword Bros is down now. I don't want to play the net version. Each time I burp, the heartburn gets worse. I'm gonna contact them and see. If they know anything.
I want to see if they're still working on the game. Since uh, SoulGirls.org isn't working anymore, I think the dude finally quit working on it, unfortunately. I'm gonna see if .NET is gonna still work on a project. Or if they're still working on it. Even though I'm a bigger fan of .org than .NET. Ahead. I want to see if they have any like plans to push the game any further. Let's see if they mess his back or anything. I'm curious. I mean, they have a whole team for the game, but it doesn't seem like... I don't think any of them are going to be working together. Maybe they're missing a member and they haven't hired anyone. I don't know. My Dragon Blaze, where are we? Round 7? Jesus. It's only been 18 minutes. Now that we have all of our heavy hitters, we should be doing a lot more damage. I wish I could like scroll down so I can see everybody else's. Did anybody change anything? No. Nope. Well, of course I didn't change anything. Jeez. I don't know what it is about Celine and switching Chin in these two. For some reason, she does more damage and help her. That she ever does inside of the main team. It just makes no sense to me. So I just left her and help her, and that was it. I don't know why. Maybe next week I'll put her in the team and keep her there and see what happens. I can't throw Momo out because then I'll have no tank to keep this formation. So we have to see what happens. It's gonna be annoying. I'm pretty sure this is still going to last uh, at least 40 minutes. 
probably still could be an hour, but it's just like 18 minutes less. Andre, what's up? Welcome to the stream, how you doing? Feel good to stream again. This is live right now. Uh, none of my friends are online. Feels bad. I don't think anybody's posting anything inside the Dragon Balls community. You know, and ever does. Hold on. Uh, check. Nope, I'm the only one. Okay, feels bad. What is this game about? Uh. Jeez, Dragon Blaze is kind of hard to explain. It's more of a unit power-up game. <laughs> power-up evolve your characters into stronger characters. It's not like a normal gacha game where you can just get powerful units from just summoning. You actually have to grind, get units, put them into other units, Love them up, evolve them into different units, and repeat the process. So yeah, Dragon Blaze is more complicated than other gacha games. But it takes more time to get through content. Let's just say, if you're planning on getting into this game, you, you gotta dedicate. You gotta put in a lot of dedication. Alright, we're almost done with round 7. change anybody out. I'm still thinking if I want to actually work on Van right now. I mean, Van's working out just fine. For Ive, but... Not sure if it's going to do the same thing for me, because the relation bonus... But will you be playing Nice Chronicle after this? Whenever Guild Adventure ends. Alright, round eight. Could change some of the gears or the gears, gear stats. I need to farm a uh, fork fortress later. 
need those precious dark scrolls. like this addiction to try and push skills oh yeah this is a fully auto game by the way too like all the characters fight by themselves I've actually been thinking about revisiting uh, seven nights I've actually been thinking about that. I know they probably have in a, like a lot of characters by now. Probably done like a crap ton of collabs. Some of my, well, some collabs I was waiting for probably don't make rise probably passed already. We're gonna see. I'll probably do it on Monday if anything. Maybe I'll revisit, uh, what was it? Soul something. God, I forgot the name. I definitely know it's, it's soul. It starts with a soul, at least. So nice. Seven, not so hungry. What the hell was the name of it? Uh, no, it's not pay to win. It's grind to win. A very, very long grind to win. Oh, there it is. Soul King. That's what it was. I don't know why I couldn't remember the King part. So Soul King is also just out of the area. I don't know any other game that I would actually want to revisit after playing it for years. I'm definitely not revisiting um, Summer of Wars. No, I think I'm good. I can't even think I, I can't even believe I thought of that. Oh, there's is another game I actually wanted to try out. We're gonna. See if it works before we start up a uh, nice chronicle. Which we only got one more round after this. It stops at round nine. Hopefully they didn't get rid of it. I mean the game was heavily paid to win anyway, so you know. Hold on, I want to look it up and see if it's still going. Oh no, it's still going. I think I've heard of the game and have not played it. Uh, it's a PS4 game? Nope, definitely not. Because I don't play consoles anymore. 
unfortunately. I got out of the whole console thing. Just because I would actually have to buy way more equipment just to record. And <laughs> that's a lot of money. But maybe someday I'll get a PS4 and, and along with Elgato stuff. Also with an Xbox One or something. Oh yeah, this is another one I saw. That was the one. I thought to myself, like, wait, this is on PS4? I thought people were saying it was on mobile. So they're like separate version. There's original and then there's the mobile spin-off. Okay. And yeah, we'll see. If anything, first I would make a video off of it. Before we actually stream it and get more into it. I definitely put it on the list. Hold on. Do you have a full list of games we still have to go through anyway? Oh yeah, Death. Did you hear about uh, Dungeon Defenders developers coming back and putting up uh, more updates? Fixing a lot of the bugs? Freaking title, man. So much typing. I'm not sure if they're officially back, though. That's the only thing I question right now. But they definitely did put out an update that fixed a few bugs. I'm not sure if they fixed all of them, but they definitely fixed a few. Yeah, seven nights. Solved it too because it was taking up a lot of room. Right now, the only games that are taking up a lot of room that I will probably still play is Warframe and Killing Floor 2. Whenever, apparently, whenever I uninstall it, everybody else wants to play it, and I never have it installed. The Secret World is also still there. So maybe I'll play a little bit of that sooner or later. I've been wanting to play it, but it just happened. Been in the mood to play it. I still have Elder Scrolls downloaded. We're not gonna talk about it. Uh, Skyrim. I don't know why I just said Elder Scrolls now was it. But yeah, with those like two days of pretty much exhaustion and heartburn <laughs> I was able to think about what games I actually wanted to play Black Cells is definitely one of them and Prince of Persia Sands of Time is also another one I want to revisit No worries, man. The grind never stops. I feel you. Oh god, he already broke it. 
Oh, you're still pretty close behind me. Did you change anything? Wait, was she Max at first? Or was I looking at somebody else? Nah, I think it was just this person's chin. I think it was just his chin. Yeah, since we got it for free off Ubisoft, I was thinking to myself, I might as well play it. You know, go down memory lane or something. I used to suck at that game, too. <laughs> I I would die so much as a kid, but with the knowledge I know now, I'd probably be a lot better. I mean, that's how it goes with a lot of games. And that... Oh, now that I think about it, if I do play Sands of Time, it's just going to spark up me wanting to play the rest of them. I don't, hmm. There were a few that I didn't, you know, like, get into. But I'm definitely still working on a whole Metro playthrough. You guys will definitely see some more Twitch stream on YouTube, uploaded on YouTube, because I need to finish those. Gummer Warrior is almost done. I just have like three or two more episodes of that to upload. So I'll be editing that tonight. Oh yeah, I still need to download Remothers episodes too. You know, there was... I used to have the same thing that... But it was like a Dreamcast game. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I can easily find it. Find it. Ill Bleed, that's what it was. As a kid, I could not finish that game. Ill Bleed was terrifying to me as a kid. I, I didn't even get through the first level because there was like a whole bunch of fog. There was a heartbeat sensor and crap. Like, I just couldn't finish the game as a kid. Like, I was easily scared. I feel like... If I played Ill Bleed now, I'd probably get pissed off. Just because that game was apparently really difficult. But if I was to ever replay it, it would probably just be for the lulls. But it's like a really old game. Like Dreamcast old. I'm pretty sure that was, um, well, people say, what were they saying? Oh, yeah, they were saying if you pretty much make it, like, kind of misleading, because people were reporting it for being misleading, because they would just say, I'm now live. That was just be it for the title and the thumbnail. They would never say anything about Twitch. Like, I think it's okay to advertise yourself going live on Twitch, as long as you say, I'm now live on Twitch. But people were, like, doing misleading titles saying, I'm now live. And when people would click on the video, they would not be actually live. I think that's what they were getting in trouble for. Pretty sure that's when the first strike was handed out to, um... The computer dude that I used to watch. I just stopped uploading I'm going live on Twitch just to be safe. And plus it got tired some just uploading that every time.
I mean, if people were getting striped down because they had Twitch-related stuff, that would be actually pretty dumb. And that would hurt YouTube more than anything. Like, if I was to get striped down just for uploading my Twitch streams as a series, then I would probably full-on quit YouTube. And just go to Twitch full-time. And just stream for 8 hours a day. Like everybody else does. Alright, I'm gonna keep that up on the screen because I want to look at it as soon as it's over. Like, I'm pretty sure as soon as you get one strike, that limits you to 15 minute videos. Which hurts more than anything. Mostly since people like most of my hour-long videos or longer videos let's say that so that means if I do make like an hour-long video I'm gonna have to figure out how to edit it down to 15 and take out all the important parts and leave the extremely important parts of the game Which is going to be quite annoying and boring. But, you know, that's YouTube for them. For you. They just make wrong choices. Even if they don't believe they do. I mean, my videos are more... Aimed towards people who want to, like, watch them in the background of them playing or grinding or something. I don't really aim them towards people just full on watching, even though some people would. <laughs> We've been going 43 minutes. Yeah, this will be a, an hour. It's been a while since we had all of our heavy hitters, though. That's the thing I'm surprised about. Actually, no, it's probably going to be less. It's probably going to be like 50 minutes. With the ways depleting. Yeah, YouTube's just been like really sketchy. They do things behind creators' backs. They just make it worse for viewers to watch other people too. I just don't get it. This is why one reason I'm hoping that another like video media site just takes over completely. One that would actually partner up with creators fairly, you know. But it's kind of difficult to outdo YouTube right now. But the thing is, as soon as another gaming platform that deals with videos comes into play that's just automatically going to replace YouTube because you know how many creators are just going to move over just because they're trying to get out of the clutches of YouTube if a smarter competition comes through that's pretty much done for YouTube's gaming side more people will probably stay over on YouTube just because there'll be less competition but then again there'll be a more game-worthy fan base over on the new site. Let's go. 
That's the thing YouTube's not getting. Their whole platform is mostly gaming. I want to say like pretty much 60 or 70 percent of YouTube is gaming. I could be wrong too. Probably could be less than that. But the but there's a good portion of YouTube that is gaming. So if they lose that, they're going to lose mostly more than they they're actually thinking. Like I said, they're just kind of being, being like underhanded and just sneaking around. I just don't know how to feel about YouTube right now. I mean, it's never too late for me to change to another site. I don't think other sites pay you from what I know. I'll probably have to contact some and just make like a video on it. But I don't know if that's allowed. They'll probably try to strike me down. Advertising other sites that will rival us. You know what? Strike this guy. Yeah, blogs are actually pretty, a pretty good portion too. YouTube would only become like a full-on blog channel. Well, full-on blog site if a gaming site came along with uh, videos. I mean, people like looking into people's other people like looking into other people's lives. You know, seeing how they live, seeing how they function. I could never do daily vlogs. Just showing off my life every single day? Nah. Nah, I don't think I could ever do that. Maybe like a weekly or monthly? Not not like daily. That hmm. That one's questionable. Then you just destroy your privacy more than anything. Yeah, same. <sighs> That's exactly how I feel about him. Yeah, because you already got like a pretty much a whole week taste of somebody's life. And if you get it for like a whole month, you're just like, I've basically seen everything you have to offer. Unless you're just like a huge rich guy spending your money every single day. I'm probably going to be curious of what you spend it on next. Or what stupid shit you do next. Considering there's so many channels doing stupid shit. Alright. Like I said, it was going to be 50 minutes. I'm pretty much done. Almost made it to the point they made it to. I don't think I'm going to make it, actually. And there we go. We are done.
Ah, I almost made it. Almost. Alright, so. Let me just grab some stuff. What do I have in here? Ah, oh, just tickets. Did I do this? Yes, I did. Alright. I'll do that stuff later.